Hello. I'd like to tell you about this semi-automatic wheat farm I created and how I made it is I go here's a center block one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight and then from there I just do that over and over until I get to just one block of dirt and then I knock off all four corners This is a dispenser with a, bu a single bucket of water. There's an observer there. And it, this crop farm can double as a crop farm or a mob farm if you wanted. You can run that on a clock. And that's why the four corners need to be tapered off. The problem though is that mobs will get stuck on corners like that. Same for crops, they'll get stuck on corners. So I had to modify it a little bit. I already have a modified version. And I already did a video where it was all full and I washed it all through. It's just it took a while for it to all get to the bottom. But here's the completed crop farm and put jack-o'-lanterns under it this time so that mobs wouldn't spawn while I was building it. And then I found out soil is a transparent block. And these half slabs have water are waterlogged so that it saturates all of the soil. Three in, one, two, three, or four in, right there. And the reason this is extended up one is because from this center point, it's actually nine out. And then this raised platform so that when water falls down, it follows the water mechanics and comes out, and just for example, there's, I'm going to put three corners on it, same thing, if I flip the lever, All the water cascades down. Four corners tapered off. All the platforms push stuff off. Spiders can fall through the gaps. And no items will get stuck on corners now. And uh, what's in here right now, this is from two uh, harvest where all five plots were full. The first harvest I had five plots of wheat and the second har harvest had two plots of wheat, one plot of potatoes, one plot of carrots, and one plot of beetroots. So with two harvests, you can have a double chest full, pretty much. 
as long as your system can support all the items that are loaded in in the trunk. And if you want to know more about the platform, more about those structures, there I made another video about it, but it feels long-winded so I'm not posting it. If you're curious, I'll post it. But thank you for listening. And hope this helps someone else with uh, their farm designs. Or mob spawners. Thank you for listening.